Okay, I am going to go over today how to fill out our worksheet just in case a few of us are stuck on a few of the questions and then we'll have a better understanding of our research project hopefully and be able to finish our paper. Remember, our learning goal is that you will be able to apply technology research skills to gather information from district resources. Is Google a district resource? No. So would that be something that we should use in our research? No. To be a three, you are able to demonstrate an understanding of using those district resources and independently utilize World Book Kids Online and or Groyer Online Streaming to gather information on an assigned topic, which today is animals. We've spent a couple of sessions using all of the different district resources. Today, I'm going to show you the most efficient way to answer your worksheet so that we can move on to the next part of our research project. I really hope that by now we all have our name on our paper, but that's the first thing that we should always do, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. World Book Kids Online. I click on the balloon for kids. I am researching animals, so it makes the most sense to go to the World of Animals section. And I'm going to pick which type of animal I want to research. Let's pick water mammals. I just clicked on mammal, so I can circle the group mammal. And I'm going to do a hippopotamus because that is just fun. I need to write down the name of my animal if I have not yet chosen one. So hippopotamus, it's a mammal. Now here's a question that I need to use my prior knowledge from class in. How do I know this is a mammal? Well, yes, I just clicked on mammals on the website, but that's not what I want as a response here. You learned about animal classification in class. Mammals, what do all mammals have in common? They're warm-blooded, they have live babies, they drink their mother's milk, they have fur. I can write any of those things down as how I know this is a mammal. If I would have chosen a fish, all fish live in water, they breathe with their gills, they lay eggs. I can write all of those things down for how I know this is a fish. If they're a reptile, I know that they are cold-blooded. If they're a bird, I know that they have feathers. If they're an amphibian, they can live on land or water. Those are the types of answers that I want. So I'm going to put warm-blooded. Whoops. If you want to put more than one, has has fur or hair. If you know more than one, great, put more than one. Share all the knowledge that you know about animal classification here. This section is for your prior knowledge from what you learned in class. Now I'm going to move on to the next questions. I clicked on my hippopotamus. I can go to the article or I can go to the exhibit. Remember, today is the last day for research. So I'm going to use the most efficient way possible. Click on the article and this literally gives you a list of everything that you need to know for your animal. It says describe your animal. Um, so let me scroll down here. I can talk about its body covering. I can just look at this picture and know what it looks like.
so it's covered with skin. I can talk about the color that is brown, maybe tan when he's dry. How long and heavy is it? Well, right here it says weight and length. Its weight is up to 5,800 pounds. That's a lot. I'm going to write the top weight down. If you want to do the span, you can. And I'm going to write that this is the weight. And then it can be 12 to 15 feet in length. Okay, got that right off of World Book Kids. Awesome. What covers its body? Let's keep on going down here. I just saw that. Body covering. Skin. Okay, how do hippopotamuses breathe? Do they have gills? No, what do mammals have? What do they use to breathe? Lungs. Does it lay eggs? Newborns, type of newborn is, what does it say? Live birth. So I'm gonna put that, live birth. And, How many babies are born at one time? Let's see. We'll have to find that later. But what are the babies called? I do have that. What's a baby called? A calf. Oh, right here. Number of newborn. I missed it. How many does it have? One. Okay. I easily just finished all of my questions from my research. This is your goal for today to be able to finish so we are ready to move on to the next steps in our project.